these writings could be of import? Shall we take a closer look? What did you think of that story? It was well told and all, but not particularly exciting, eh? I mean, it's the sort of thing you hear bandied about the tavern every other night, isn't it? I'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here to learn his ways. Haven't learned much, that's for sure. And by the look of it, he doesn't appear to be making much for his efforts, neither. So where's all his coin coming from, then? Makes a man wonder it does. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my story entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Now, listen close, as today I shall tell of a serpent with powers most fell. Our hero ventured into a shrine long enclosed, whereupon he found serpent and soldiers in battle opposed. Though to the soldier's aid he would fain have leapt, unease overtook him, so behind a pillar he crept. And not a moment too soon, for there came a flash of light, ere the room filled with screams. I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace discussing a curious rumor. Regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean? Indeed. Some suppose there is more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. Seeing his moment, he unsheathed his blade and brought the pillar low in a thundering cascade. The gloating serpent was caught by surprise and with a pitiful hiss, neath the pillar it writhed. Till mustering swiftly the last of its might, to the depths of the shrine did the monster take flight. Thus, with a wit as sharp as his sword was honed, did our hero put an end to the threat imposed. And who was our hero? Why, needless to say. What has come over you, Arisen? Gather round, gather round, treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. <laughs> and should my story entertain you, nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Our hero ventured into a shrine long enclosed. Whereupon he found serpent and soldiers in battle opposed. Though to the soldiers' aid he would fain have leapt, unease overtook him, so behind a pillar he crept. And not a moment too soon, for there came a flash of light, ere the room filled with. I got some coin to spare your humble. What would you of me? I'll have no trouble, thank you. Have you need of me?
his choir about? I've trained for this. At least here I can let down my head. You! My, my. I'm trapped like a rat in a cage. This arisen's both shrewd and fleet of foot. Ah, tis obvious, no? I am an agent, of a sort. Let's just say there are some who don't want you wandering about as you please. I was to report on your comings and goings, you see. But I suppose that job's over, now you've found me out. So, how about it, friend? Will you let me go? I've no reason to trouble you any further. Aye, aye. You'll have your coin. That's how this works, isn't it? <laughs> Glad we understand each other. I'll be on my way then. You showed mercy to the agent, Master. How very gracious of you. I know not what to say. We must rest, though the sun is still up. Our adventure continues. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Ready to forge on? Not much going on here about. Surprise. A splendid discovery. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. I got some coin to spend. Much appreciated. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my tale entertain you? Nay. Even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Now, listen close. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, oh, excellent find. In the north of Vermont is our curious tale staged, where ventured a hero off left off the page. He delved into a temple of baleful feature, only to be confronted by a four-legged creature. But when our hero drew his blade, unto him a demand was made. And who the asker? Why, the beast! An uncanny affair, to say the least. Yet there was no time for shock and dismay as answer my riddle did the fearsome thing say the trickery was clear to respond meant certain doom but in the midst of his answer he'd doubtless be consumed so a mighty attack did our hero dispense to conquer his foe and banish it thence with a single strike was the towering beast repelled to quail in fear at the mortal strength it beheld. Such is the legacy of Lord Rosamond, who, needless to say, was the father of House Berkeley, which lives on to this day. Gather round, gather round, treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. 
And should my tale entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Now, listen close, as today I shall speak of riddles and monsters with frightful mystique. In the north of Vermont is our curious tale staged, where ventured a hero off left off the page. He delved into a temple of baleful feature, only to be confronted by a four-legged creature. But when our hero drew his blade, unto him a demand was made. And who the asker? Why? The beast! An uncanny affair, to say the least. Yet there was no time for shock and dismay, as answer my riddle, did the fearsome thing say. The trickery was clear. To respond meant certain doom. But in the midst of his answer, he'd doubtless be consumed. So a mighty attack did our hero dispense to conquer his foe and banish it thence. With a single strike was the towering beast repelled to quail in fear at the mortal strength it beheld. Such is the legacy of Lord Rosamond, who, needless to say, was the father of House Berkeley, which lives on to this day. Gather round, gather round, treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my tale entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. I'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here to learn his ways. So where's he get his coin then? Makes a man wonder it does. Could be. Gather round, treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my tale entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Now, listen close, as today I shall speak of riddles and monsters with frightful mystique. In the north of Vermont is our curious tale staged, where ventured a hero off left off the page. He delved into a temple of baleful feature, only to be confronted by a four-legged creature. But when our hero drew his blade, unto him a demand was made. And who the asker? Why? The beast! An uncanny affair, to say the least. Yet there was no time for shock and dismay, as answer my riddle, did the fearsome thing say. The trickery was clear. To respond meant certain doom. But in the midst of his answer, he'd doubtless be consumed. So a mighty attack did our hero dispense to conquer his foe and banish it thence. With a single strike was the towering beast repelled to quail in fear at the mortal strength it beheld. Such is the legacy of Lord Rosamond, who, needless to say, was the father of House Berkeley, which lives on to this day. Gather round, gather round, treat your ears to a tale by a treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Well, we're 
There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. I don't know what to do. What an exhausting day it's been. My head hurts just thinking about it. It's not right. It doesn't make any sort of sense. The doctor examined him afore and said he'd be better with a bit of medicine. Yet ere since he came here, he's only gotten worse. I understand how you must feel. But you must see that there is no medicine that can heal him outright. I am caring for him as best I can. However, if you truly cannot entrust mayhap convalescing in a place familiar to him would aid his recovery. Of course. Uh, home, you say? Dear, we are pressed enough as. All right, he stays. But pray bring my. I will look after him. This place offers a view of the sea. I imagine we would not escape a plunge into the water's depths. Rejoice, my darling, for your Albert is returned. Welcome home, dear. I spend my days spinning yarns, only to come home to a wife for whose radiance I have no words. Oh, you bold-faced flatterer! I can't stand the sight of you. Go away. Well met. This... I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Keep those orders coming. This fearsome world of ours is best... What would you of me? I'll have no trouble, thank you. Listen up, you lot. Albert, king of beggars, has come to quench your thirsts. Aye, the ale's on me tonight, so drink up, my friends. Drink your fill. Well met. This I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Impressive. <laughs> well met. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. 
pleasure doing business. I'm sick of looking at you. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Will he truly be all right? Will he truly be all right? We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, oh, excellent find. A full week has passed since Sir Mildred set off. A sp Sir, ought you not be in... Ah, forgive me. You're not a patient, are you? Tis a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Eleanor. I have the privilege of serving as abbess here. I regret that I cannot offer you a cup of tea, but I'm in the middle of making my rounds of the patients. Not to mention, I have to find the means to procure more medicinal ingredients. Oh. You wouldn't happen to know someone willing to brave the roads, would you? I know it is perilous, but there is one ingredient in particular we cannot afford to run out of. You would procure it yourself. I am grateful beyond words, sir. In that case, might I trouble you to bring me some miasmite? The slums are a bane to the body's humors, and its residents are oft prone to illness. We do what we can with what little we have, but we're always short on helping hands. Your aid is most appreciated, sir. May your search prove fruitful. Tell is, 
Maya's might can be... Harvested from phantoms. Monsters that wander the world at night. Yes, sir. Ah, forgive me. I... If that's not the case, you will have to... Ex Here at last. Good tidings, friend. How have you been keeping? As for me, I made the most of my week-long sojourn. One might even say I enjoyed myself over much. You see, I grew so fond of the destination my feet carried me off to, methinks I should like to live there. And that's when I thought... Mayhap, you've grown just as fond of this dwelling. Fond enough to purchase it from me? I can't just give it to you, mind. I've my relocation costs to consider, but I'd sell it to you cheap as I can afford. Well, friend, what say you? Much obliged, friend. I hope you're as pleased with our deal as I am. This little dwelling's all yours now. I suppose I'd best be off. I've my own home to get to. I hope you'll be happy here, friend. Farewell. Hearts just thinking about it. Yes, sir. Have you procured what I asked? Splendid. You've my gratitude. Unfortunately, I can give you little more than that. Forgive me, but I must return to my round directly. Ah, but in place of a reward, mayhap I could give you a tour of the premises. Only if you've the time and inclination, of course. What say you? As servants of the Gracious Hand, we provide whatever treatment we can to those unfortunate who are stricken by maladies. Yet, at times, it is not enough. Perhaps you will recall the parents who were here when you first arrived. An unfortunate pair. They've suffered no few hardships in the slums, and now, even their poor son, Lubomir, has fallen ill. By chance, he was examined by a roaming man, claiming to be a doctor. Yet, the family had not the money for the medicine he required. So, he was put into our care. Here he is. This young man is Lubomir. We've been administering the medicine recommended by the doctor who examined him, but he has yet to show any sign of recovery. To be perfectly honest, I doubt the soundness of that so-called doctor's judgment. After all, there is no shortage of ne'er-do-wells out there willing to claim their medicine the only cure, but I suppose I ought not say such things so openly. At any rate, I'd best continue on my rounds. Come, come. We've medicine to prepare. We've enough to make a fresh batch now, thanks to a kind donation. Psst! You there! Help me! 
Listen, the sisters here are good to us, but I'm growing weaker day by day. It started with a slight fever, and now I can scarce lift myself up. See that empty bed? An old man was lying in it till just a few days past. He told me he was feeling better, that he'd be well enough to leave anon. And now he's... Mayhap I'm just imagining things. I hope that's the case. And yet... Gas... Something isn't right about this place. Pray, should you hear any queer rumors about the Gracious Hand, come tell me of them, won't you? I'd see... You have no need of my assistance at present, but I shall be ready to render aid at a moment's notice. I ain't gonna make any coin. You don't look like much. Got something for me? I spend my days in quiet reflection. Might I beg but a moment of your time? Are you here by a... A moment's prayer can do a world of good. Each of our patients deserves our full attention. Might you be a friend of Lubomir's? He's seen better days, hasn't he? There has been talk of sending him down to the basement, should his condition fail to improve. That is, the basement sick room, where our most critical patients convalesce under the Abbess's care. None of the other sisters are permitted entry, including myself. Tell is, she gives the patients a special medicine. I, I know not what kind. At times, I hear strange cries and moans drift up from below. W which is to, to be expected. Those who come here suffer all manner of afflictions, you see. And yet, a part of me is afeard for them. So, the worst of us are taken to the basement. Mayhap that's the source of the queer voices I hear at night. And none say the Abbess can enter? If the Gracious Hand has a secret, tis the Abbess who keeps it, I reckon. You've done this much for me. Would you be willing to go further? I must find out what goes on down there. Oh, you've my thanks. I just can't stomach the thought of lying here not knowing. Of course, all the better should your search come to naught. But if you do find aught amiss down in that basement, it must be the Abbess's doing. Should you find evidence fit to implicate her, will you help me see to it that justice is carried out? See, I've already reported my suspicions to the Sentinels, and we've arranged a signal. If you apprehend the Abbess, they'll know to come and arrest her. So I beg you, sir, find the evidence you need if it exists to be found. To get to the bottom of what is happening at the Gracious Hand, we shall have to acquire evidence of any misdeeds. Right you are. How might we enter the basement sick room? Splendid. Oh. 
beg pardon, sir, but this room is where our most severe cases convalesce. I must ask you not to disturb them. For your sake, as much as theirs. Master. Oh, someone help me. Jahan? Bruno, where have you gone? Mayhap twould serve us well to track down the former patients mentioned in these records of treatment. Right you are. Elena, ah yes, the abbess of the gracious hand. A fine woman by all accounts. I was in her care once myself. But I must admit, I've always felt there's something off about her. You see, I was only a little under the weather when I entered her care. But then I started getting sicker and sicker till I was certain death would come for me. In the end, I survived, but methinks... I was one of the lucky few. So many died down there. And once, I saw her, the abbess, meeting with a strange man. She handed him a large parcel, all wrapped up. And he gave her something small in return. You'd think to a medicine, but I'd not have bought medicine from a man like that. They were whispering. But I did hear one of them say aught about keeping quiet. Tis well... suspicious, eh? Where'd they meet? Twas in the square, in the eastern part of the common quarter. And always a night, as I recall. Lady Eleanor's a goodly person. A saint-like. 
Her earnest care saw me back to full health. I wavered between life and death for quite some time in that basement sick room, and she watched over me through it all, bless her. Can't say as I miss that basement, mind. Tis an eerie place, dark and shadowy, filled with the moaning of the sick. Suppose tis only to be expected, given the state of those assembled. I'm sure I was moaning too. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Watch yourself. I'm not... A fine place to harvest some ingredients. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. It appears night has fallen while we slept. Shall we check our packs and be off? I hope you slept well. You ought to learn when to leave well enough alone. This is plenty. Lord Phasus is like to be in your debt. <laughs> Nicely done. Suppose it can't have been easy to procure this much so quickly. You suppose wrong. I command their full faith. Tis simple for me to extract what I require. Ha! You're a fearsome one. Here's hoping I near end up in your care. Enough. I gave you yours, now you give me mine. I'd not be seen here with you. Ah, of course. Wouldn't want to hurt the Lady Saint's image in the eyes of the common folk, would we? Here's your special medicine. Glad we understand each other. Till next time. I be seeing you. This is not the first we've heard of Lord Phasus. What could his aim be, I wonder? I'm not sure what we're dealing with here. Might I beg but a moment of your time? My head hurts just thinking about it. I'll pick that up. We might have need of it.
Make it quick. I ain't got all day. What's your problem? just thinking about it. You're back! Pray, tell me, have you found anything? These look like records of treatment. Johan and Bruno. I know these two. They left here not long ago, fit as a pair of fiddles. I recall them being especially meek to the abbess. Mayhap that's what got them out safely. At any rate, they may know aught of use. Loath as I am to ask more of you. Perhaps you would speak to them in my stead? You're back! Pray, tell me, have you found anything? What? You found a medicine used only in the basement sick room? I... I don't like the sound of that. Do you think... Could I trouble you to look into this as well? Mayhap you could show it to the doctor I saw before coming here. Radcliffe, his name was. He's staying in the rest town. Pray, sir, do what you can. I must know. Methinks we would do well to bring this medicine to Sir Ratcliffe, the doctor over in the rest town. You have my support. What should I do? Shall we get some rest then? Good morrow, everyone. Off we go then. Did I trust? If that is what you wish, Arisen, I'll go on ahead. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support.
You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my specialty. It is a pity we must part after sharing such a journey. I shall cherish my memories of our time together. It will be an honor to serve by your side. There is a rumor whispered among pawns that I have oft pondered. The gist of it is, when pawns travel beyond the rift, we can contract a peculiar... Welcome to... And quality is what you need if you want to survive. Five. So for... Many thanks. I appreciate the business. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch, in my case. Very useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. <laughs> no sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. When Tard, be sure to avoid open bait. Much of an adventure if all we do is make camp. It is enough to make camp only when the need arises. Are you unharmed? Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. You have no need of my assistance at present. 
but I shall be ready to render aid at a moment's notice. us well in battle. What say we pelt one of the next foe we encounter? While in another world, I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here. Perhaps I could show you the way. over a moment's in court. It shan't happen again.
Aren't you lightning spans? Seems there's no room for argument here. I shall obey, but I won't pretend I'm happy about it. Now, what might that be? We ought to take a closer look. Tis a hobgoblin! Fire won't do much good here. Best to try a different attack. Avoid to rain with any cost of it. You can be doused in oil. Grant you boring flame. Come to think of it, different masters favor different forms. One whom I serve preferred to have beast wings for allies. Each for their own. We've a choice of where to go, but how to know the path best traveled? I know precisely when a curative is needed. are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's more to be found? Quite the view from up here. Let me see how high I can scale. Well said. 